It's always helpful to know that a renovation in New York City is not an HGTV show yes. and you are not going to walk into a renovation that's going to be done in two weeks. And it's also <laughs> not going to cost anything <laughs> like what the HGTV shows yeah. show. Like, but let us not scare you because you should <laughs> renovate. Hey guys, it's the Brownstone Boys, your favorite renovation couple. We tackle unique and historic spaces all over New York City, and today we're gonna share our top 10 renovation tips that we've learned over the years. Running out of money is a frequent problem in the renovation industry. You wanna plan a 10 to 15% contingency on top of the original budget allowed for the renovation. This will be money that you can rely on if anything does go over or outside the scope of the original work. You're gonna spend a lot of time with your renovation team, your architect, your general contractor, the engineers, everyone who's involved in the project. We usually recommend asking people that you know that may have done a project in the past, research that and make sure you know who you're going into this very long relationship with. Speaking of contractors, make sure you get three to five quotes from different contractors. Pricing can range drastically and you wanna make sure that this contractor fits in the scope of your work and in the price of your project. The word phase scares us. <laughs> Anytime someone says the word phases, we're like, oh, oh. And we get it and we understand why people want to phase out their project, but in a gut renovation, it's just sometimes easier to go in and do everything. Oh. Nothing wrong with phasers out there. We, <laughs> we get it. Every single renovation project goes over schedule. So schedule is just an estimate. You know, you never know how long things are gonna take. Just set maybe two to three months in addition to what the original scope of the deadline is. I mean, it, 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 it could easily double. We've had a project where all this structural stuff came up that just wasn't known. Yeah. And you know, I mean, there we do have a certain project that won a good seven to eight months over. <laughs> but to the fairness of the project, we did switch contractors halfway through. We kind of added on additional scope that wasn't on the original plan. Yeah. Given the circumstances and given the scope, it really overall has done justice for the project. You want to organize all of your inspiration photos. Coming from us, when we got our place, we had pages and pages and pages, especially on my end, of inspiration. <laughs> and that is great, and it will give you a broad sense of how you want your home to turn out. However, sometimes it's a little overwhelming. So you want to condense it down to maybe two or three inspiration photos per space. Yeah, I love that because it, it, you can easily just start pinning things on Pinterest and you have a hundred photos of a kitchen and they're all different. From a <laughs> Scandinavian kitchen to yeah. a classic shaker kitchen. Yeah. And it's just, you have every range in that. Make sure you make as many decisions before the project starts that you possibly can. So for every single one of our projects, we have a very long spreadsheet that has every single item that we need for that entire project. And yeah. we want that thing filled out as much as we can before demo even starts. A lot of people rush into it. We're guilty of it as well too. Rushing right into getting the job file, getting the job started without really thinking of the finishes. There's so many decisions to make. It becomes Decision overload. It's decision overload. Yeah, you have so many things to think about. So sometimes we will say, hold off from starting your renovation until you have everything lined up so that it sticks to your overall time schedule. Neighbors are very curious and you want to be on the neighbor's good side during the entire renovation because they really are an ally. It's especially true in New York because even in a brownstone, you know, you share a wall with your neighbor. It's really good to get them on your side. 
bring them some cookies, leave them a bottle of wine. Have you ever bought neighbors cookies? We have, the, we have actually done that a couple of times. <laughs> I have to deal with the neighbors all the time. But cookies, wine, write them little notes every once in a while. Like you really want to make sure they're on your yeah. side because they can make things very miserable. So the weekly meeting is that consistent touch point that you are able to understand where the problems are, what has come up, what needs to be addressed. We like to set those regular meetings and stick to them and they are in stone. <laughs> Get it? I, I would recommend We have started drinking a little bit extra since we started renovating. That's true. But it's a very stressful we're not drunks and industry. we're not yeah it is a stressful industry that's the great thing about new york city is you can go on a really long walk a really long bike ride we've learned that we need personal time which is a whole another issue <laughs> <laughs> So you want to manage your materials ordering process. Know your lead times. Be careful with your quantities as well. So you don't want to get stuck not ordering enough material that takes weeks and weeks to get. You'd rather have too much than too little. I do a lot of dealing with the contractors and problem solving job, sti job site stuff. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> I probably do more of screaming at the contractor. I also will take things so far, but I won't necessarily like go as strong as you might with like a yeah. vendor who has a thing that's late. And he's having, he's putting on the oh. Karen hat and asking for the manager. <laughs> that is not true. <laughs> that is not true. Oh. No, if, we're, we're if, not going to fight this. If we're together. at a restaurant <laughs> and... <laughs> And the manager has to be spoken to. Which one of us will be doing that? You. No, you, you will be doing it. You're the Karen. <laughs> We're not those kind of people. There are going to be things that you change your mind That on. you have to make a quick decision it's, on. It's not like you're going to go through your entire project and not have a change of heart or see something and say, oh, you know what? That's not exactly what I was expecting it to look like. You just need to limit that. I think one of the most frustrating things for most people when they go to renovation is additional costs from the contractor. You know, they, they decide to add something or change something and the contractor gets you a quote for making that change. Those things will result in additional expenses from the contractor. And I think that's a very, very frustrating thing for people. Yeah, really help yourself and not change your mind too much during your renovation. Yeah, so living in our house during the renovation was super stressful. Not only were we upstairs constantly checking in on our contractor and our contracting team, it was just a little too much oversight on the project. You can definitely overwhelm your contractor. Sometimes you really have to meet halfway and kind of let them take over and you step back a little bit. I, will, I would definitely recommend renovating 100%. in New York City. Yeah, I mean, 100%. I, it's, it's the best way to get the house of your dreams and to make sure it works perfectly for your family and it's a place that you're just going to get the be the most out of is to build it yourself. New York City is a tough beast, but if you can get through the renovation process, which you will, might run out of money, you might run out of <laughs> mental stability, but you are going to finish that project and at the end of the day, if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere and that's the truth. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We hope that you learned a little bit about possibly going into your own renovation project. Just remember, it's super rewarding. It is a lot of work, but in the end, you'll have the house of your dreams. And you should absolutely do it. We hope this video helped out a little bit. Subscribe below and happy renovating.